Michigan, we tapped in with DJ Snoop and he told us to spin it in. Thank y'all for uh, having me, man. Oh, for no sure, problem. for sure. Yeah, man. So we gonna start it off, man. To give give the people a brief, you know, saying just summary of uh, uh, background of who you is, how you came up. So. Man, um, I'm Dre Day for real. Uh, that's that's who I am. That's that's my real name for real. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, people, for people that just think I just made that up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, yeah, <laughs> my, my real last name, Dave, for real. Okay. And I've been going by Dre since eighth grade, so okay. that's okay. that's my real my real name. Uh, man, I I got into music probably like 2009. Man, I was just on the street team for for my cousin artists. You feel me? So, long story short, uh, I found my place in management and consulting. Uh, that's what I like to do. I like to educate people on the business, kind of what we lack most. You know what I'm saying? That that's like a person that do real estate or a person that do taxes. They try to teach you about the business of what you're doing, so you can kind of have better leverage. So that's just what I do in entertainment. And uh, I done got into hosting and uh, just a lot of entertainment endeavors, man. But mainly, music is the <clears throat> excuse me. Music, the main focus. So, okay. yeah. I think the part you say you try to educate them on that on business aspect. What what part when you talk to somebody? What what most the common parts you see that they lack when they trying to do business? Like what 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 you have to pretty much repeat yourself saying. Comprehension. Comprehension. Yeah, like yeah. people lack to comprehend. Um, they lack motivation. Um, and they lack understanding, so them elements are detrimental to anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, they gotta be applied, they gotta be taught, they gotta be bred, they gotta be worked on, you know. It's, it's a talent, you feel what I'm saying? That's a talent in itself, to me. Yeah. Um, because it's what separates person, you know, from, from others. So the difference between one artist and another is the hustle, the knowledge, and the motivation, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's pretty much it, and then just from the actual business, just not really understanding ownership. Uh, ownership, as we as we've been able to see through uh, 
film and all that kind of stuff and, and, and Google and all that, you can know that who's been handled wrong in the industry, in any industry. And so it's from a lack of knowledge, you know. And if you, you have the knowledge, you have the leverage and understanding, and you can kind of put yourself in a better position and know how to sell your product. It's, it's the same with anything. You have the knowledge, you do the business, and then you figure out how to sell the product. So as an artist, your art is a product. I mean, of course you can say that because an artist doesn't have to have a label to be considered hot. I can go get 100,000 followers without a label by going viral mm -hmm. and doing it my way. So why, why, why would I believe you to say that I need work when I did it by myself? And then they don't realize you only got saw or, or people saw you by yourself. You know, you didn't understand how to sell yourself. And, do, you know, you may have understood the logistics of how to beat the system, um, but when you're talking about building an entity uh, and growth, it's just like an actor. It's a lot of people that can act, but then when you understand how to act for a movie, like how they talk about Denzel, how he locks out and how he locks in, and you're talking about somebody that was like a Kobe, and that dude in the G League, like, dang, that dude to kill me. Right. You know, that G League dude will destroy me. So you mean to tell me Kobe and LeBron that much better than them? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That dude ain't even close to the dude that sits on the bench that gets that check. <laughs> you got a two-way contract. This dude on the team, and he on the bench. So, I mean, again, it's th that dedication and stuff have to just be in you. So, now, I, I mean... Everybody has to be developed and trained, and yeah. yeah like a gift, a gift and a curse. When yeah. it comes to the social media, when it comes to independent and not having a label, but you still need a label. Just yeah. after you know your self worth, how you uh, develop yourself, know how to push yourself, and then once you get to the label, you know how to talk to them and not have them talk to you. Yeah. You tell them what to do once you get to that stage. So you won't have a messed up contract. I mean, everybody went through it. Jay Z went through it. Mm -hmm. You know, Lil Wayne. I mean, we can name them all. Everybody had a, a deal. So. Yeah, and it'll give them a stick in the in in the long run. Yeah. But hey, like you said, a lot of people just learn from it, man. It's, it's, it's you get a deal like that. Sometimes it's it's, it's a gift to you too, because it educates you on what you shouldn't have done the first time. So when yeah. you got right. it, another opportunity, you make it better. You know what I'm saying? As far as hustling, man, that's why I like Master P because he he knew how to sell his craft. As far as hustling, like like he used, they used to say he used to ride and just give homeless people shirts with his album on it when it's coming out. That's free promotion. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Free yeah. promotion. You he people it. outside every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah for real. So unfortunately, ride, yeah, unfortunately, when you ride by, you see it, and it's gonna yeah. be stuck in your head once you see stuff over and over again. It's gonna play back in your head, man. And that's right. an old thing, hustle move, man. I don't understand why people don't do it now. Right. You know what I'm saying? L little stuff like that. A lot of people don't like doing that old, like we did back in the day, that footwork. You know, they don't know the hustle of handing out CDs or passing out flyers. Now you just go on Facebook and hit at, <laughs> at followers or, yeah, 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 yeah. or tag people. Now, nah, man, they don't have that old hustle or, or hand in hand hustle like we had to do back in the day. Yeah, it was, it you was, it was different. Small, yeah. yeah, it was different. <laughs> it was hit you across your head, you and they fade. Nah. <laughs> For real. Hey, bro, yeah. bag up, don't give me that. <laughs> you think a lot of people should go to school for it before they jump into this? In the, uh, or or take, at least take a, a class or something to get better educated on the business side? Education doesn't always mean school. Uh, reason I say it doesn't in this error is because in school they're allowing kids to use Google. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if I'm in class and I can use Google to help me do something when there's a teacher right there. No need to go to a class. Well, I won't say that because everybody doesn't know how to interpret. So you need the teacher. 
the teacher is the person who took the time out to interpret and break down so they know how to deliver it. Everybody don't know how to, a lot of words and a lot of fancy sayings gets gibberish to, to a weak mind. And that doesn't mean that's a weak person, but everybody weak in a certain area, you know. Uh, some people may be stronger in a lot more areas, but everybody got weak areas. So, you know, the teacher is needed. Every element is needed. Every element is always needed. So we can't defer anyone. So. Yes. Yeah. So you need that school. Hey, you know you need school, go. Don't let nobody tell you not to go. <laughs> That's where your biggest fan base is going to start at, I'm telling you. That's 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 actually leverage. Uh, you're talking about schools of 50,000 and up. Yeah. <laughs> Man, your freshman class may be, you know, mm-hmm. a couple, couple thousand, you know, depending on the kind of school you go to. So take advantage of that campus. If you go to school and you want to be an entrepreneur, that's the best place to start, man. You don't got to have a business license to sell cookies, to bake, sell baked goods. So look into that. That's an easy hustle as a college student, selling baked goods. You don't have to, yeah, you don't have to have in industrial kitchenware to cook. Like, just just to show his grandmama can bake, yeah. you can bake, in, you know, without having a major, like, all, all your major uh, paperwork and stuff you have to have and getting all your, you know, coding and all that stuff. It just based off the temperatures that you have to have. You know, based off the temperature it take, you don't use no extreme cooking method to bake. So, yeah, you can. You need paperwork still. You gotta look into the paperwork you need. I'm gonna make you do some research. So if you wanna bake, go go look into the homework to see. I done gave you the flavor already. All you got to do is go learn what you need to have to be able to bake in your house and sell baked goods. See what temperature you need. Yeah, man, simple, man. That's easy money, yeah, yeah for sure. Ain't gonna get it all, man. Yeah, man. Hey, just like you can sell lemonade <laughs> at, on the street, man. You can sell them cookies and, and brownies and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what was the first event you ever put on yourself? Man, my first event was on. I got a platform called Song for Song Music. Mm-hmm. Basically, what Song for Song is is an exposure network and development platform. Uh, we just try to use it to educate and and bridge gap. So. Uh, the first event, of course, was Song for Song 1. Uh, basically, Song for Song is a non-genre platform, man, and we just, just competition, you know. Uh, we had an artist in competition, elimination rounds, and uh, made the best artist win. You know, we got judges to, <clears throat> to judge the process to make it fair. Uh, got an odd number of judges so we can have that, you know, you have a right balance. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And and that, that's pretty much it, man. We that was the very first event we did, song for song one, and it's still going on. Yeah, it kind of kind of grew. Uh, we were supposed to just do song for song Huntsville, but uh, oh, due okay. to so some it's some not, health, it's not I, I I it was gonna be our first one. Uh, oh, we okay. we circling back, but just do the health stuff, and then that weather, that ice, oh, okay. well, that's yeah, that that, that yeah, whatever we had <laughs> coming in, <laughs> it just kind of threw everything off, man. So. Uh, Salute to Huntsville for opening doors and the people that was working with me. Uh, we definitely running it back, so Huntsville, stay tuned for that. We actually coming to you to sit down and do the auditions this time, man. So, uh, yeah, 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 they do, man. So, but yeah, Song for Song one was the first one, man, and so we've done ten Song for Songs. Yeah. So. That's good, man. Yeah. We have some continuous like that. Man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been it's been dope, bro. Yeah, it's been dope. Bro. Yeah, yeah, it's been dope. Hey, sometimes your songs ain't good. Go hard. Yeah, yeah. A lot of our people got them just yes man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Somebody is gonna tell them, hey man, nah, that ain't where it's at. So yeah. you go back, you record the song. Yeah, and every time it ain't it ain't just that, you know, like uh, for a lot of artists that don't understand like our selection process, man. Like it's crazy. I had an artist. Uh, I ain't gonna say his name, but that's my dog now. But he just kind of attacked me, you know, like because of our selection process, right? And uh, you know, song for song is just about the music, you know. So 
certain artists wasn't making it. They were feeling like they should have made it. Uh, artists were possibly making it twice or whatever, and you know, people were like, "Dang, I know I'm harder than them," and you know, "I know I'm better than them." And really, song for song is just about you know the artist being in tune with themselves, really. So uh, it's just about knowing your your catalog, and I mean, we don't we don't judge based off of who you are. Like we let the music speak. So if so, so if what I, what I, if y'all break down or what like y'all judge on song for song, as far as just getting to be a part of the event or just. During the event, because it's event. two different. Oh, it's two different. So what's bring out both of them? I mean, audition process or what? To audition is really just. I mean, we just pick the best songs out of everything that's submitted. So that's right. that's simple, you so know. It's you? No, 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 no. We we just we just have judges for all the oh, process. Okay. Okay. So I don't get beat up. Yeah, <laughs> or have to, or have to shoot nobody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I I don't touch the judging just because it just makes for like cleanness, you know. Um and oh, then wow. yeah, and then during the event I I try to have uh the most qualified like industry people that I see in my eye in our area or I have reached out to other areas that, that just a qualified eye and ear. Mm-hmm. Uh I feel like if you making money from the music business daily as your craft in some kind of form or fashion that I feel like you qualify to give your critique just because music pays you, you know. Mm-hmm. So you you put in your hours, some of y'all, uh, some of these people, 10,000 hours, you get what I'm saying? They say that's how you master a craft. So some of these people are putting their hours in, and I just trust their word. You know, if you can make money off of something that I'm trying to make money from, I need to listen to you and some Everything may not hit, but something you got is working for you. So how can I just sell my product in that same field? Right. It's just a different product. It's just like selling bread and cheese. You know, it all go together. Yeah. So, yeah. So you got your first event. So who your first host? Man, my first hosting event was my event. Um, <laughs> actually, um, it was my uh, 10th event. Right, yep, it was last year. So last April was my 10th event, Song for Song 10. And uh, it was at the Alabama Music Box. And it was, um, I think, two weeks after Slate uh, had passed. Uh, Yeah, long live my dog, Slate trying to done, man. King of the gate, man, we checked in. Uh, Yeah, it was was two weeks after... um, he had passed, and I wasn't going to do it. You know, I was just, just going to refund everybody and not do it. Uh, but I remember, like, he had did a show for me, dog. Uh, after his child had passed, he had a, kid, a child on the way, and then the child had passed. And that man still came and did that show. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's crazy. I got some footage from that show. It's crazy. Like, I ain't got a lot of footage on my personal phone from that show. But I got a, a speech of him saying something about that moment. Like, you know, I'm here, I'm pushing through, I'm persevering. And, you know, me and my girl going through something at the time, you know. And he was like, I'm here, you feel what I'm saying? Like, he was talking to the crowd. And I was like, that's crazy. So I, I came across that video and was like, bro, bro would have been up, you know what I'm saying? He was up there for me. So he wouldn't want me to cancel. So. I, I couldn't let nobody else fill his shoes, I'm going to be honest. That's why I, I, I only did it myself. Because the relationship we had with how I run my shows, like, I didn't have time to tell nobody to, that I trusted to be on point like we on point. Like, I, I, I just have a certain criteria for my shows. Mm-hmm. So if my show got to run a certain way, I, so it just wasn't enough time to really get a host in my eye yeah. to, to, you know, and then I couldn't just let I, I just couldn't let nobody after that happened I couldn't let nobody be up there and and possibly say the wrong thing you feel me because his family came so I was like I'm gonna just do it and <laughs> drinking them Bud Lights man trying <laughs> trying to honor him man and some special stuff happened you feel me and uh, it was it was a good show man and so was uh, what was crazy 
I had Miss Ron do the freestyle, you feel me? And Ron G came, Ron G really set it off for the hosting. Um, Cause he was like, he was about the, we had been talking about producer wars for a minute. Uh, so we, we had been talking about it. And uh, Ron G had, uh, he came to me and he was like, hey bro, I want you to host producer war, but you gotta freestyle. At, at, that's the only way I'm having you is if you freestyle. <laughs> I was like, I got you, dog. Gee, I owe you a freestyle still. <laughs> I, I think we did about four of them, and I owe him a freestyle still. But uh, dang, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but I got a few other people to freestyle. So, but um, but yeah, man. Uh, that that's what started. Run G was booking me, and then I was at Producer Wars, and then somebody booked me from Producer Wars. Cause they seen me at producer wars, and then um, Tony for Secret Scientist seen me. Then he booked me for some. <laughs> then I was like, "Man, y'all need a host. Hit me up. <laughs> like, just, just you know, I'ma do it. You know." Yeah, right, well. So then after I did a couple, like I said, a couple producer wars, and G did some battles in between there, or whatever. Um, and then it, it just started rolling. And uh, I was like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm a, I'm just gonna have to go all into it. I can't play, you know what I'm saying? And then I got host, uh, booked the host of Emo Night, uh, and that was my first like, different yeah, with a yeah. different crowd, and I start getting into different stuff, and uh, then I, I I can't remember what else I hosted, but it it just started kind of, it just, started kinda, that, um, it just show the event with um, Bambi. Which one? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We did the Black Wolf for uh, uh, Shake the Field. But yeah, I had I had did some stuff before that, man. Uh, I, I, man, I I hate I'm forgetting because that's crazy. It it it, it, it well, it's just been like now that I just think about it, I'm forgetting. <laughs> like, yeah, since April to now, yeah, almost not being a year. Yeah, I, I it didn't went crazy. I ain't gonna cap. Hey, it didn't went crazy. Like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I mean, I did everything from church events to uh, okay. I just got hit up to I'm I'm a, finna officiate my first wedding next year. <laughs> like that's how serious it is. Like now, I I'm dead serious. Yeah. I got I got I got the text the other day. At first, it was like, hey, we want you to host a wedding reception, and then they was like, where well, the bride and groom was like, dang, if I wish he could marry us, you know what I'm saying? It was like, well, all he got to do is go get ordained. I was about to say, you ordained? So I was like, I'm going to do it. They was like, <laughs> <laughs> they was like, bet. Well, so well, I'm, well, I'm well, with well, it. Another bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with it, man. So uh, I did. I did. I have done a wedding reception. My best friend, she got married. I was in the wedding. Shout out to my best friend, Ty, my dog, and Jesse, her, her husband, man. And they booked me to host a reception. And uh, I got a booking from there. I got a. Uh, October wedding this year. Uh, me and Tech got a wedding in May. Uh, he 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 want to book me for a couple of receptions. Uh, Shout out to Tech. Yeah, man. So like I said, it's, it's been cool, man. Um, like I said, just the different experiences, man. Like I said, I never thought I would be uh, in a position to be being the center of attention because that wasn't the goal, you know. Mm -hmm. The goal is to showcase these artists and entertainers. But what I have taken from it is a lot of people have doubted me uh, just because I think, you know, I haven't made anybody famous or, you know, haven't given anybody the millions of dollars they want tomorrow because they talented, you know. What it has been able to do for me is show that, okay, since y'all say I haven't done nothing for y'all, let me do something for me. And I'm going to outbook all the artists. I'm going to make sure I'm more booked than any artist. Just to prove a point. And, and a respectful point. Like, it's a respectful point because it's like, for you to disrespect me and say, I I have no value. Like, my value of me giving you the knowledge and the game and the resources is valuable. Like, some of, forget some. Majority of the resources I give away to artists, like, they couldn't touch 10 years ago, like, people just meeting Josh and going inside of Dolphin Street Sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, 
just simple stuff like that, man. And, and you know, artists being on festivals now and, and uh, getting to open for these artists and they hardly are known or hardly have a following. Like, it's, it's dope to see, but, you know, at the same token, it's, it's got to be respected because I've, I've been the most respectable guy from what I try to do because that's what my brand is built off of. Like, I'm going to respect you and your craft, but I'm just going to make you work hard for it. Like, Kobe, my favorite player, and, and I kind of operate in that mentality. Like, you said you wanted to be an artist. You said you wanted to be a model. You said you wanted to be an actor. You said you wanted to be a manager. You said you wanted to do a podcast. You So, like, get out the way or, or pick up the slap. And that's on, that's for me, too. And this is how me and Slate talk to each other. So that's why I don't, you know, sometimes I, I have to realize, hey, Dre, you ain't talking to Slate. You know what I'm saying? And I can respectfully apologize. Like, I'm never going to say I've always been right in my approach, but I, I know I've always kicked the knowledge of being right. You know what I'm saying? The approach may not have always been right because I'm not realizing, hey, Dre, you got to deal with everybody different. You know, I'm willing to say I'm still learning in areas, but, uh, yeah, just, just some people tried to, you know, they hit me with some, some shade, man. And when I came into the host and I was like, y'all don't even know that side of me as far as personality. So I know what my personality can do. I'm just finna, like, make sure I'm booked. Yeah, I'm finna just make sure I'm booked. So, you know, I'm where the artists want to be, like where they need to be, and they can be. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm never going to speak like I'm a cocky person. I'm not. But I'm like, what more can I do? I was telling y'all what to do. Nobody believed me. Now I'm hosting. I didn't start hosting. And going on a year, look at the body of work. And and this is in our market. I can't be more known than you in our market. You know what I'm saying? So it's no disrespect, but I just see too much talent. That's why the passion is there. So I, I love the city. That's all I listen to. It's too much talent, man. Yeah. A lot more people should be more known than what they are. Like you said, they just put in the work. There's a lot of stuff. Be, I feel like a lot of people just hate on each other. If it ain't if it ain't somebody you know, you're not going to support them or give them as much support as the person you know when you know they're more talented. I'm going to always push. Any orders from the city, man, I'll push them before I push anybody outside of Mobile. Cause I I, I want I want to see y'all shine, like, cause it's a better look for the city. Mm-hmm. Right. Some when somebody else make it, that's a more eyes gonna be on the city. They gonna be like, damn, what else come from Mobile? Yeah. Who right. else in Mobile got talent? Like I I sit and watch reaction videos to when they read to artists from like Rallo or or, or Brazen. They be like, damn, what's in that Mobile war? Mm-hmm. I done heard plenty of people like, damn, that's another one from Mobile. What what's in the Mobile war? All these All artists. Right. And that's a good thing to see, man. So I, that's why I would tell people, man, just support, 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 support. He, he, he don't take nothing, but you can just share their post, share their video. That's support, though, man. Yeah. It don't take you but five seconds to click share. That's it. That's it, man. That's, it. that's all you can do. If you don't listen to it, just share. Yeah. You feel? Because somebody going to scroll past your page and just click on it because you share. Yeah. So that's why I always say, man, I always support, man. I always support. So what? Any more events you got coming up so, soon? Uh, I'm just hosting, man. Uh, hosting yeah, I'm I'm hosting. Uh, Push Cinema and started this thing called the Audience. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm gonna be hosting a few episodes of that. Okay. Uh, man, it's that? it's cool, man. It's uh, I, I like the the you know meaning behind what's going on, man. So we'll just see how it roll out, see how it play out. Uh, so. They got Jay Reese Friday, and then okay. um, Saturday I'm hosting the Blackout Ball Masquerade. They got Sammy and Rich Boy. Uh, Sammy, somehow, oh, Sammy, Sammy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, boy, old school Sammy. <laughs> yeah, they got Sammy, yeah, for sure. And uh, so that's the Poet Mobile. They they doing that. They do it every year. It's their eighth annual. Okay. Uh, and then on Sundays, man, I'm, I'm at the D spot with Tech and Smooth on uh, some Sundays doing hosting there. Okay. Uh, they got classic Sundays there, man. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a song for song again, man. Uh, I've actually got be on the lookout for song for song uh, winner circle. Uh, that's basically all the winners that 
Florence song for song. Uh, okay. Yeah, we've already started the this process for that. So it's it's all the winners that have won. They're gonna go up against each other. So we got some special stuff for that event. It's gonna if you know we we pull it off right. We've been we've been putting it off because we we got some real you know uh, some good good stuff in, in store for it. So. Uh, we trying to pull it off and make it an experience that can uh, kind of just, you know, spark a, a, a you know, revolution of kind of just just what's to come, you know, for mobile music, man. And uh, I, I think it's going to be a dope experience, man. So Song for Song Winter Circle is definitely something to look forward to. And uh, I'll probably, probably do another concert series, man. That was pretty cool. Uh, it was a way to kind of showcase the artists in a more intimate light. Uh, intimate light and um, allow them to kind of really show their artistry. So uh, we'll probably run in that back. We got more artists added to the uh, catalog, man, looking for more artists to just kind of scout and just kind of see uh, how they are, you know. And uh, yeah, man, I don't know. Some Hopefully somebody call me to host something, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hey, that's that's gonna be. Hey, I'm gonna make sure. That's that's probably one of the biggest highlights. No disrespect to no nothing I've hosted, bro. But for somebody to call me and say, "Hey, we want you to marry us," hey, man. Like, and and, I, and I'm gonna just say this. You know, they 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 ain't from the same race I'm from. Then that's respectfully. You know what I'm saying? So, again, man, I, anything I do, I'm just trying to be an example, bro. So, like I said, these are not – you can't take up what a person achieves as boastfulness, like, especially for me, bro. I, if people been watching me, they know I – like, you never saw me on stage at my shows, for real. You know, I I had one little mix-up guy up there with Jay Reese. He gave me the mic. You know, I did that. Um, but that was about song for song seven. I done did about 30 events, <laughs> you know, between then. So I was like, all right, give y'all one time of me acting stupid. But, you know, I, I, it, was, it was never about me. But I'm going to take full advantage of being a host to be able to showcase. Like, bro, hey, just I'm telling you, I'll give you the recipe. You know what I'm saying? The recipe is simple. Do good business and build relationships. That's all I've done, bro. If the product good, then you ain't got to do nothing else but them two things, bro. Do good business, build good relationship. That's uh, that's the only thing that put me where I am, bro. The only thing, and and the product just had to be good once it got displayed. That's it. That's it. So you know, you you only as far as as the work you do. Now it's up to you to take all the content you build from that and try to put it together to further sell it though. But the relationships, man, that good business. That's it, man. <laughs> they sell recipes to anything you want to eat. That's what's crazy. <laughs> Think about that, bro. Every, the average thing, anything we want to eat in this world, we complicate life and we got to slow it down. I'm going to leave them with this gym on, on, like, we complicate life so much, bro. But think about it. I, I want to eat and I say I can't cook, but they give me the recipes. So all I have to do is follow the recipes step by step. I just got to take my time and interpret what it's saying, you know. It, 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 everything in this world, we mostly given the directions to follow. You can feed yourself. You can grow the crops. You know what I'm saying? It's about the work, and that's what it's forever going to be about, the work. So the relationships, only as good as the work. That good business, only as good as the work. You know what I'm saying? Nobody care how good the product is if it ain't no good business and work behind it. Thanks. Thanks. It's good work on the street and on the shelf right now. Okay. Shelf Drake. <laughs> That's what's up, though. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. You just did an event with uh, Hunger cooking in one of your events. I think it was last week when uh, Shout Out asked me how many of you did it at a year. Was it the uh, 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 the day party? Yeah. The day no, party. That, I, no, no, let's get that right. I was hosting at her yeah. event. Okay, hosting at her event. That was her okay. event, okay. yeah. Okay. She cooked at her event. Yeah, yeah man, I was honored to be there, man. Shout out to Antoinette, man. Uh, she did a day party, the Mardi Gras day party, man, me and DJ Kicks. Uh, and that was pretty cool, man. So, like I said. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, man. I, I like to get, no, I like to get people, they, yeah, I like to get people they credit, man. Because, I, like I said, I'm, I'm appreciative, bro. Like, it's been 
like I said, it's been cool for people to call you and, and want to have you just talk on the microphone. Like, yeah. I, I was trying to do this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, also, man, um, got the radio show, man, on uh, Inspire You. I local music sessions, man. Okay. Basically, I'm just, I just play local music, dog. It's simple as that. Uh, I do interviews. So, when we so, what time do you get on? That's every Saturday, 9 p.m. to midnight. Okay. Yep. Um, and I, like I said, I just, all genres, man. All genres, like, just playing it, local music, dog. As long as it's clean, I'm going to play it. I don't even got to listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> we just, we, hey, they, they blessed me to do it. Yeah. You know, they got the listeners. It's syndicated. You you get paid for your streams. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for your spins. It's just like being on a real radio station, man. Like so, you know, we got to support. Just uh, that's uh, that's just what I'm about, dog. So support everything going on, man. Mobile got it going on, man. So yeah, we just gotta yeah. It's it's good. It's good. It's fun, man. It's fun. Real fun. Man, hey, I appreciate, hey, I appreciate y'all having me, bro. I don't do many interviews, man. So, you know, I, I, I come outside every now and again. But yeah, it's cool, man. I, like I said, I appreciate, it, man. It's fun. Uh, just letting people know, like, hey, man, it's you know, I'm not a uh, David Stern. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not a mean guy. I'm not a bully, dog. I'm just passionate about my work. If, if I don't leave nothing else right here today. I'm passionate about what I do. Hey, so if if you get a certain energy from me, it, just imagine playing for Belichick or, or playing for Phil Jackson or playing for Nick Saban. Y'all love Nick Saban. And he be screaming at them folk cheering. Huh? I'm just saying. He be screaming at them folk cheering. But where them folk cheering at? You know what I'm saying? If they buy in. Most players in the Pro Bowl this year, where they came from? It take time, but hey, man, the, you know, hey. So I ain't saying I'm on they level, dog. But I'm just saying I, I I didn't put a lot of work in studying and trying to perfect what I do. So if somebody just lock in long enough, you know what I'm saying. I I know between yeah yeah. It's it gonna take time, dog. Yeah, promise you that. And I gotta say, shout out to Fuel Kitchen. Shout out to hey, shout out to my wife, man. She hard, dog. Um, hey, look, look, man. I'm, I'm, I'm basically ready to put, put up. I'm, she probably gonna be mad, but any chefs in the city, man, any of these cooks, man, around here, man, we, we just do a little cookout, man. That one about to say, look, hey, she, man, hey, look, look man. That, man. You know, play, like, man. you know, I, I ain't want to say it, but I just gotta say it, man. I won't. I can brag on her, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. Hold on. Self talk, man. man. Drop that for us before we leave, man. You gotta promote that, man. Hey, man. I I, I always promote. Well, look, if you come to the shows, it ain't a show that Drew's Kitchen ain't at. For sure, that's a fact. We got good food. Yeah, we got Drew's Kitchen at every show, man. We follow Drew's Kitchen on Facebook and Instagram, man. We actually got plates tomorrow. We sold out already, though. But yeah, y'all, y'all tap, y'all, y'all tap in, man. I'm telling you, they they be going hard. Yeah, together, yeah. That, I, I, and, and I just want to do it for the fun, man. I ain't dissing nobody because I ain't try a lot of people. Like Antoinette, I ate her food uh, this, this, you know, past weekend. I was like, hey, you hard. You know, I, I ain't never that. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, like, I support anything. I just want to do it. I like yeah. eat. I just want, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, I just think it fun because, you know, the, 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 you know, like, shout out to Big A. Like, shout out to everybody, Miss Gwen, everybody, like, just doing their thing. Like, bro. Like yeah, mo mo be a hard around here, bro. And I just feel like anything that can push the energy yep. of us showing love within these right. these entities and these uh these br uh, okay, it's it's slipping my head right now, but all these networks and avenues that we have here that do stuff, like they just came together with the ability right. to do more stuff, just showing that that branching, man. I mean, it, it is hard to build, but I mean, it's it's just time, bro. It's just time for us, especially us. Y'all know what I mean by us. Yeah. yeah. Especially <laughs> us. It's coming though. Watch the Renaissance. The Renaissance. Watch the Renaissance coming. Y'all heard it from me first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all already know what it is, man. Live from Belmont Backyard, man. I'm hanging. DJ Snoop.
my boy Dre that Yes, man. sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate you again. You know how I appreciate y'all, bro. Make sure you see you over here by the SSG. Alabama <laughs> Empire Radio. Or if we do boogie. We out. Alabama Go Bulldogs. Radio. <laughs> 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 yeah, we got to cut that out. We got to cut that out. <laughs>